Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a really basic Adobe Photoshop tutorial. The basis behind this tutorial was I was taking a whole bunch of pictures yesterday because it was snowing, as you guys are seeing right here. Here's a picture that I took yesterday, and I realized that this picture didn't look very wintry. I mean, sure, there's snow everywhere, but the entire picture didn't look very wintry. So what I did was I took the original image and I put it in through Photoshop and came up with this sort of a dark kind of greeny, but same kind of blue kind of wintry feel and I did this really basically but I wanted to go ahead and show you how I did it just so that you guys could get the basis to try and make some pictures like this I'm not telling you guys to go out and copy exactly what I did because I'm pretty sure there are way more advanced ways of doing this however I'm just going to show you how I took this ori original image and turned it to look like this and sort of darkened it up and made it look a little bit more blue and a little bit more like a cloudy snowy wintry day so I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop version CS4 to get the job done. And this is the PSD file that I went ahead and used. So this is the original image. And as you can see, I have three different layers over here. I have this one, which is the no change layer, which is the original layer that we went ahead and used. And then I have the one that I applied all of the color correction to. And then I have another one, which is just a layer of black around the edges as you can see right here and that's just to give it kind of a uh, more kind of black kind of border kind of look to it so I'm just gonna hide all of those and I'm going to duplicate the no change layer no change copy and I'm gonna make this a uh, color copy just for the sake of uh, reference and I'm just going to apply all of my different color corrections and stuff to that so the first thing I did is I started up with image and adjustments and changed the brightness and contrast I usually bright change the brightness a little bit down and up the contrast just a little bit yeah update up the contrast and then I normally just go to curves and drop the curves somewhat to down here and as you can see we're darkening up the image and now we're gonna go to exposure and we're gonna make it a little bit underexposed I'm gonna change put the offset a little bit more down and then I'm just gonna up the gamma correction to make it so it looks like that and now we're going to go to vibrance and I'm going to make it a lot more vibrant so just making the colors a lot more vibrant and I'm going to lower the saturation so as you can see here we're already starting to add in a whole bunch of more vibrance to the colors and making it look a little bit more dark compared to the original and now I went to color balance and I made everything a little bit more bluish, more greenish by upping the blues and upping the greens. So we wanted to, you know, have a little bit more color of what we're actually taking pictures of next to it. So here's the color corrected and here's the original. And then after that, I went to photo filter, which is the last step that I actually did. And this is actually like applying a filter to the photos. And I applied cooling filter 80 and shows the default color that it has there. And as you can see, that adds sort of kind of a blue kind of filter to it to make it look like we're sort of in a winter kind of setting. So like the blue, what it represents to me, like when I saw this was kind of like a really cloudy, overcast winter day, like it just snowed and that's what the filter did. So if I uncheck the preview box, as you can see, this is it without the filter and this is it with, hold on, this is it with the filter. So we're just going to go ahead and apply that. And the last thing I did was I applied this thing we have up here, which is layer one, which the only thing I really did was I created a new layer and then I grabbed the paint bucket tool and filled in the entire thing black. And then I just grabbed a really big eraser. Maybe that's a little too big. We'll down the size just a little bit. And I just made it so that the edges had that little black tint to it, which is what I normally do to add in my little effects and maybe that's a little too much but we'll just continue to lower that down and that looks pretty good so that's it without the effect and that's it with the effect and that's basically what I did to go ahead and color correct this image I actually did a whole bunch more images just like this I took them and applied the same principles of color correction but that is just a quick and easy little way to make your pictures look like you have a little bit more of like a wintry kind of setting to it I mean sure snow will obviously help but anyway that's just what I did I thought it was interesting and thought you guys might like to know what I did and what your thoughts are on this I'll post a link in the description so you guys can see all of the 
other pictures that I've taken. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys have any more ideas for more tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm kind of running out of ideas and I've kind of been focusing on other projects and so that's why I haven't really been doing too many tutorials lately. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.